Hello guys. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, yeah, hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you are welcome to another beautiful yeah. and awesome epic episode of the, the marriage, marriage cut. I hope you've been enjoying yourself. You've been learning a lot and and yeah, we want to see you, your comments in the comment section. Yep. We want to see it, your piece of advice, your encouragement, your what now? Questions we too. Want to we just want presence. to feel your presence. Exactly. <laughs> we want to feel your presence. Yeah, okay, yeah. so we have another beautiful issue yep. on the ground yeah. today. Today, oh Lord, oh Lord, we just pray that the table remains intact by the end <laughs> of this. It is scattered. It's, it's a good thing for tables to scatter. All right, so I'm going to quickly read mm -hmm. what we have here. I'm recently married after my husband and I dated for two years. We tied the knot in July of 2023 and still quite in the honeymoon phase of our marriage. After we got married and moved into our two bedroom apartment, which my husband and I both equally contributed to pay, his younger sister decided to visit us. At first, I was made aware that she would only be spending a few days with us, so I agreed. But this lady has been here since November and she is still here. When I ask my husband when she's going back to the village, he tells me stories upon stories. It's not like I don't want her around though, but it's because she makes my life more difficult. She's around 22 years old. Can you believe this lady does not cook, does not clean, does not wash plates, nor clothes. She stays in her room the whole day. Why I, don't, I don't believe it. She said, Can you believe it? <laughs> she stays in her room the whole day and comes out wow. only to eat and dump the plates in the sink and then back to her room. I feel like a slave in my own house. What kills me the most is that sometimes she tells her brother what kind of food she feels like she feels like eating for dinner and he calls me to prepare that food our marriage is too young and i wish to get some privacy from all these intruders but my husband isn't ready to reason with me please how can i get my home back and get my sister-in-law out wow this matter is tagging and apart plus makeup and the matter is ready <laughs> <laughs> Is I get it. Mm, it is well. Where do we start from? <laughs> Where do we start from? Wow, 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 wow. Alright, um, let's just start from somewhere. Let's start from somewhere. Um, first of all, is that um, I think is probably on the aspect of the of the husband's sister. You know, before we, we talk about whether you know she should have come by that stage of their marriage, mm -hmm. but first of all, I think she has a character problem, um, because or she has an entitlement mentality. Either of the two, either she's lazy, has a character problem, or she has entitlement mentality, in the sense that I can't imagine, even if I'm in a friend's house or I'm in somebody's house, at least when I eat, I should take my plate out. I should try to, you know, do one or two things in the house, seeing that I'm not in my house. Even, even if I'm in my house, I can't leave place, that's enough. But now you are now in another person's house. So, personally, I would even make more effort, more efforts than I would have made if I was in my own house. So I think that first of all, there is a character problem there or she's feeling entitled, but she's too young. To feel entitled. If you are 22. Or, or there are some sisters that have vowed mm. to destroy their brother's wives. You don't know. Mm. <laughs> there are some they, are not which that they have vowed. You know, you know, you know, you won't really blame them because maybe this brother has been dead all the while. Do you understand? You know that kind of closeness you feel to your brother. You feel like him getting married is like a distraction. Mm. Like the wife will take away his attention from the both of you and all of that. So it might be another issue. So he she is trying to, you know, guard her territory. I don't understand. Is it really? <laughs> but there's some ladies like that too. Ah, wow, well, that's that's strange actually. That's strange. Because so I decided when... to prepare the style of where my mind was actually going is that maybe she feels that the brother's wife should serve her as it were. 
the yeah. brother's wife should, you know, like we are the owners of the house. Yes. Even if it's forty-five years, even if she's forty-five years, you know, there are some cultures that ha. you know that puts the wife on that the family. How do I how do I put it? So when a man marries his wife, she's everybody's she's now servant. Everybody's servant. The, the whole community. <laughs> So she's always the one doing everything. Maybe she came with that mindset yeah. that yeah. could she have been the problem. The yes, mm. she came from the village. Yeah. So she may have come with that mindset. Okay, I'm going to my brother's house. The wife should be the one doing everything. Um, the um, the you know, my share is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> we are all part of my brother's world. So she came to eat the brother's world. So she has to serve and all of that. So which is quite a wrong. A wrong mindset. So I, 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 I believe that's where the issue is coming from. So what I think the woman should do is to, um, from her, from her question, I think she has, of course, had an interaction with the husband maybe once, twice, or thereabout, because she said that the husband is not willing to reason with her. That means to see reasons with her. So what I would advise you as the next step to take is to find someone and I believe your husband, which is actually what we advocate during courtship, find out who your husband defers to. Find out who your husband, who, who your husband, you know, respects, who can talk to your husband and he will listen. There should at least be one or two persons, which this is actually a point for cotton couples. Yeah. Don't go into any marriage whereby your spouse, yeah. your spouse to be does not, is not under anybody, does not listen to anybody. You can't, you can't say that this is the person that can call him now and says, stop, and he will stop. And, and, and all of that. So, um, the wife, if the husband has someone like that, the the wife should, you know, take the matter to that person and then let the person come to, you know, to um, mediate between her and the husband. Let the person help the husband to see reasons. Of course, when I say let the person help the husband to see reasons, the person must also have seen reasons with, with the, the wife. wife. So um, I, I'm, I'm believing that it's a mature person. Um, somebody with a mature perspective, with wisdom, maybe your pastor in church. I believe you guys should be attending the same church. So your pastor in church can be that person. So find somebody that can talk with your husband, that your husband can listen to. And then um, go and um, ex uh, explain what's going on to the person. Let the person, you know, maybe meet with you and your husband and try to sort things out. Because this is actually a very, very, a very, very big issue that can, you know, result to a whole lot of rancor in the future. Like now, there there are no much rancors, but when when that thing begins to you know spiral out of control, you now begin to have in law issues because it will not just be about her now. You know, her siblings will join if they don't have sense. Um, your mother in law will join if she doesn't have sense. <laughs> Forgive my my words. If if they don't have sense, if they don't have wisdom, so they are going to back up their their sister. Uh, or um, their daughter, and then you find out that you now you are now at loggerheads between um, you and your in-laws. So it is better to nip it at the at the board now. That is still just you know a one person issue. Mm -hmm. So that would be my my advice for you. All right. So um, um, I want to pick out the lessons from this issue. First of courtship, I always say this: courtship is about talking. You have to talk a lot. So you need to understand this person you're getting married to. What kind of person is he or she is? Do you understand my point? Why I'm saying this is because there are some people that you get married to uh, and or you meet, not marry, you meet and you see that they are either the first, they are the breadwinners. Everybody look up to them. Yeah. Do you understand? So you need to know what is this person stand? Is it the kind of person that as they are marrying, they are packing the whole family into their family? You have to know these things. Don't assume. Don't assume. Because maybe this lady must have assumed that ah, it cannot happen now. The sister is just coming to visit and boom. The sister has been, has been there for how many 
months now and it's not like she's moving body all to go do you understand so you have to discuss these things don't don't be carried away with all the beautiful ice cream and dates and all that ask this especially if you are in a relationship with the first son first daughter or any sibling that is the breadwinner you should know and a first son that has other small smaller ones that he's training also you should know say okay oh this this is the kind of person you are so what do we do what are the lay down rules we should have that brings me to the second point what are the things we need to put in place for our marriage what kind of visitation do we need to have and i want to recommend or i want to encourage at least for the first six to one year of your marriage there should be no visitors like visitors that will come and leave because that first one year is a very remarkable a remarkable year in the life of every couple every couple so you need your privacy you need space to be able to understand the kind of person you got, got married to and to be able to bond yeah. you need that time so having an intruder will just make you feel as if it's just normal all of you are siblings in the same house just that you need that time and even the romance atmosphere you need that time that's after one month after you need that time to really bond you need that time to really just be naked and unashamed <laughs> yes you need that time yeah so you 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 that's my encouragement though except there is it's 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 inevitable you just have to have somebody in the house except it's inevitable but in cases where your sibling can stay elsewhere please they should stay maybe after six months or one year they can now come and leave do you understand my first point communicate especially if you're getting married to first child or breadwinner say okay what is the plan is any of your uh, is any of your sibling is any of your sibling coming to stay with us? Is there any plan for that? Is there anyone coming to stay with us? You discuss these things, especially if you're a type that wants privacy. If you're a type that don't mind, that's fine. But if you're a type that wants privacy, you should be the one talking because if he does not really believe in the privacy thing, it will cross his mind. So you have to tell him that what are we going to do? So that's the part. Second part, my recommendation, please, for the first six to one year, six months to one year, just stay alone. Stay alone together. Understand yourself. Let it be that when people are coming, you've already had, of course, bond takes time, but at least that initial bond should be formed. Okay. You don't need people to come in between. It's not healthy for a marriage. Trust me. It's not healthy. And if you really want, really, really want to make your marriage work, you have to work harder to also um, um, get that bond. Because in this scenario, the sister is taking the brother's attention. You, you're also struggling for the brother's attention. And hello, young lady, you just came in. The sister has been in his life for 22 years. Do you understand? So that's why you need that privacy. Because if she's there, you you are just like a, 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 it's just like a competition. You'll be competing. Uh, you'll be uh, um, competing for competing attention. For attention. I don't know if you understand. So, but at least the first is to one year. If you're a people person, please have res respect for your spouse. If they say we don't want anybody, I just want us to stay. That's fine. Then after that, we can now discuss, say, okay, what's the problem? Is, can this person stay elsewhere and we can be helping? You know, sometimes we want to help. Mm. So we say, okay, let them. The truth is that some of these things that we are even saying, we can help from afar to avoid all this wahala, eat food, don't eat food. Yeah. Yeah, I want to eat this type of food. I don't want to eat this type of food. If the person needs help, you can help. Yeah, because it's, it's not as if the sister is doing anything. Um, you can maybe you say that she's attending school or she's no. learning work. She's, she's, so just, she's just in the house. So I don't think there's any point actually yes. for her being there. Yes. You know, it, um you can always send money send wherever money she or whatever. Is. So had it been she was learning something or yes. her song where that becomes yeah, a whole a, a whole lot of um discussion. 
you understand so so for me i i think i think that the girl should go <laughs> yes me too you understand the girl should then before be. she goes before um that's for the wife now before you, you make all the arrangements and then your husband agrees and then she goes before she goes maybe we can cut her some slack and say maybe she doesn't know what to do okay so uh yeah so you need to also you know step, like step up and take your place right you know um this sounds like a lady that is quiet maybe on the introverted okay. introverted end yes. right so you need to that's for both the wife i'm talking about both the wife and both the sister okay it could be that the sister is, is a little bit introverted okay. or she's going through things that she has not even opened up to you guys no. No sir. Uh, <laughs> no sir. No sir. I disagree. No matter how introverted and no matter how uh, uh, what's the word again? Depressed. Depressed <laughs> she is. Please, you can't just sit down for a whole month, two months, three months, four months, and there is nothing you are contributing in the house. No. Yeah. That is an entitlement mentality. It's true. Enough. No matter how. No matter what. Intro, does it mean introverts don't do dishes? Do don't do laundry? Do you understand? No matter <laughs> how, please, sir. All right. So it means that the wife, you know, should take more responsibility. Yes. What I mean by that is that don't just recoil. Oh, she's not doing doing something anything in the house, and then all of that. So you this need to your stand home. your ground. You are in your home. This is yes. your home. So you are meant to determine what happens. Yes. So you tell her this is what you are going to do today. This is what you are going to do. This is what you are going to do. Do you understand? So you must not, you know, be, you know, just relax and now be be bitter inside that she's not doing anything. Tell her, give her commands, instructions, do this, cook this one, wash dishes now, and all of that. And then when your husband when she makes demands of what she wants to eat and your husband calls, if it's not what is in the menu, tell your husband, ah, this is not what is in, in, in the menu. Do you understand? Because you understand, it's not it's not actually what your husband wants to eat. It is what his sister wants to eat. So you can't you can't continually dance to her to her to the beating of her drums, right? So you need to actually you know take your stand and take ownership of your of your home. And the the, the 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 one of the downside to dancing to the beat of this is that the day you stop, you'll be labeled a wicked person. Yes, because so they have been it's doing it all better, along. somebody will say, don't start what you cannot finish. Yeah. It's better you take, start what you can finish. Yes. <laughs> it's better. It's better. Rather than, uh, you know, you want to take it in, you want to, you not get angry. And, no. You're just soaking it. Yes. And at some point, you can't take it. You, you now it. snap. You and then all it's of a sudden, be like, the that was person. the day. That mm. that you did you understand? And the people who don't understand that this has been going on and going on, been taking it. Do you understand? So that brings me to my last point. Please, for every home, there should be laid down rules, yeah. soft and hard rules. Mm. For every home, if you don't have these rules, people can come into your home and just mess it up for you. Yeah. People can. Okay, you can imagine if this lady had children. I don't know if you understand. If this lady had children, it would have been another issue. Yeah. Because you don't know the character of this girl. And it will play down yes, yes, in the lives yes. of the children. Yes. So you should have a laid down goal or laid down rules. Soft rules and hard rules. Soft rules, I mean, those things that are expected. Like if you have a guest, like if your younger one is coming, you know that you need to wash plates. If they are not washing plates, just chip it in. Soft rule. Hard rule is that... You know, maybe you know this relative has coy coy as they are coming. Say this and this and uh, they are what we don't do in this, yeah, house. this house. So while you are under the under my roof, roof. you yes. don't do this. You, you don't. don't do that. Yeah. Yes, and for crying out loud, couples have to take a stand in their home together. Together, you are not even if even if my sister who is married with. 100 children is coming to my um, uh, home. She should be able to know that there are rules in this house. With due respect, politely, there are rules. So not because she's my elder sister, she's coming to my house, she can do anyhow, be anyhow, walk anyhow, talk anyhow. No, especially when the children are involved. 
when the children are in the house you have to make rules so for this case now the soft rules are she dubs the place say madam go and wash those plates rather than you going to wash it and you'll be grumbling inside you say you want to eat personally what i'll do if you want to eat a particular food i'll tell you oh yeah that is the kitchen god prepared it you're free my kitchen is your kitchen prepare me self i will join and eat do you understand so those things and when you set those rules own up to those rules don't set them and be like okay this one is for this person maybe for somebody you can control you now there's somebody that you feel that you don't have control over you now leave them to behave the way they should behave no set these rules and live by it yeah. live by them okay yeah. so for this issue for this lady first thing first talk to someone yes. number two the lady should go someone that can talk to your husband oh, right. yes <laughs> Yes, not mm. <laughs> someone that can talk to your husband. Number two, the lady should go. Mm. Yeah, the lady should go. So it's as it's it's not so easy, but if it's me, I tell my husband, I think your sister should go. It's simple. She has overstayed her really come. She can go. But the issue with this thing now is, you know, sometimes we want to feel like I let them not see me as a bad person. Mm. That's yeah. the problem. So when you say she should go, it's not, your in-laws, every the host of the village, you know, say, hey, you went to Barry Margaret Tata. But nobody wants to listen to your side of the story. Please and please, whatever is good for your marriage, whatever is good for your home, keep your feet on it and ensure that's what happens. Yeah. If not, people will mess your marriage, mess your home for you, and you still be in that recoiled state and wishing and wishing. Yeah. So, and do everything to make sure that you and your husband, you are on the same plane. Because it would not, it would be a messy situation if you are alone and your husband is now <laughs> part of the other team. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Um, so what do you think? What is the way forward for um, this situation? You know, you can do it to leave, you know, a, co a comment in the comment section and do it to like share. Let's um, people um, come to also learn and to share their views on issues like this thank you so much for joining on tonight's episode of the marriage thoughts see you again next friday it's pm bye